thank you guys for joining me here at the World of Flame Firefighting Museum here in Phoenix, Arizona. This is the world's largest firefighting museum in the world. 120 years later, that's a big city pumper. That one uh, required 50 men to operate in order to pump 250 gallons per minute. And it was such hard work, it would wear them out inside of 15, 20 minutes, so you had to have 50 more men available to take over, and, and then they would just spell each other uh, as long as the fire lasted. Thank you guys for joining me here at Think Museum. Today I'm at the Hall of Flame Firefighting Museum here in Phoenix, Arizona. This is the world's largest firefighting museum in the world. I've been able to see some of the equipment they have here and appreciate the work that firefighters are doing all over the world. So come with me, I'm going to show you some of the exhibition they have here. And please go right ahead, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you don't miss on any of my videos. Uh, that's the same basic era, early 1900s through 1940s. And that's big trucks, long trucks, ladder trucks, aerial trucks, even a tiller truck. But also in that room is our youngest piece, and that is this one right here. Well, it's not an ambulance. It's what the Forest Service called a crew buggy. These were used to carry, uh, transport a team of 10 firefighters to their deployments, either wildland firefighters or hot shots. This one is one of the two twins that carried the Granite Mountain hot shots to the Yarnell Hill fire eight and a half years ago. That fire blew up and killed 19 of the 20 firefighters. Breaking news, a tragic end to a desperate search for 19 firefighters missing in action in Arizona. They were battling the fast moving Yarnell Hill wildfire, which has already burned 2,000 acres in central Arizona. Now, sadly, officials have confirmed that all 19 of those firefighters have been killed. So the team was discontinued. The two buggies were put into storage for a while, and then they took them out to make a movie about this tragedy. It just hit the ridge. I'm going to make my way back towards the dozer. Hey, hey, I'm at the roof. Eventually, this one came here to live forever as a tribute to the Granite Mountain hotshots. So you will see it today, literally just as it came off the fire scene. Next come over to that is a small wildland gallery. Shows you the uh, evolution, history, development of wildland firefighting teams, hotshot teams, smoke jumpers. And in that room is the very first ever Smokey Bear costume. So mm. say hello to Smokey over <laughs> here. There he doesn't talk much, but he likes the attention. Okay. The final gallery is right on the other side of this wall, and that's where you're going to see this big guy. This is is Rescue Four from New York Fire Department mm -hmm. on the day of the World Trade Center attacks in 2001. They had five of these big heavy rescues. They were crewed by an eight man rescue technician specialist team and all five of them responded to the World Trade Center attack. This is the only one that wasn't crushed or destroyed by the building collapse. Uh, it eventually came here to live forever. We, as a tribute to the first responders that died that day, we have restored it to the condition it was in before it left the firehouse to respond to that alarm. And you will see uh, there's even a photograph in there that shows the building debris coming down on this truck. So uh, please enjoy yourself while you're here. Mm -hmm. All the equipment has placards that tell you about it, but if you have questions or you want more information, don't hesitate to ask us. We're all retired firefighters. We either know the answer to your question or we know how to look it up if we don't know it. And if we can't find it, we're retired firefighters. We'll make something up. <laughs> World of Flame Firefighting Museum here in Phoenix, Arizona. This is the world's largest firefighting museum in the world. And they have very interesting equipment here that they're showcasing from the modern equipment to the old ones.
This is a totally different fire engine. It's not painted red like the rest, but this is because the cities of Denver, Colorado painted their fire engines white. And that's why I see it white, different than the rest of the fire engines. So all these fire engines were in the 1920s, most of them. And that's when they started having the motorized kind of fire engine. Um, this is the Phoenix Fire Department fire engine. That's why I look like. Very beautiful. This uh, it's a uh, it's Phoenix Four Fire Department. Meaning it's the Phoenix uh, in the Four Fire Department, which is on Fourth Avenue and Morland in downtown Phoenix. And they ordered this fire engine in 1921. So that's how it looks like. And we're here at the Hall of Fame Fire Engine Museum the world's largest fire engine museum in the world. This is pretty interesting. Look at that. Pretty cool. Look at all these fire engines here. Look at all that fire engines. to pump the water to put out the fire. Oh, look at that. This is pretty interesting. But this is how it is. So if you here in Phoenix, Arizona, this is the largest fire engine museum in the world. They are from the 1735 fire engine to the most current. And this is the best place to be. I'm enjoying myself, just checking out the collection here. So, so there's so many, so many interesting fire engines here at this museum. Um, yeah, so this is my first time to visit here and this is Peak Museum. So we're just going to capture some of the coolest fire engine that they have here at the Hall of Flame. Hall of Flame Fire Engine Museum. Look at that. All of that. Pretty huge. 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 Fire engine, guys. Look at this one here. What kind of fire engine is this? To do good is our intent. Yes. Let's support our firefighters. They're doing some great work putting out these fires that are causing mayhem. I've never seen a fire engine that looks like this. This is beautiful. Uh, this is an 1865 fire engine, horse carriage. American fire engine. So most of this is huge. Yeah, so I didn't see this one. The house drawn from 1882. This looks interesting. I think somebody was pulling it. But, yeah, guys, uh, this is awesomeness. Some awesome stuff. If you've never looked at fire engines, then here we have it.
and that was my time here at the Phoenix Fire Fighting Museum. I enjoyed every bit of it.